Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Web Flux Essentials. And let's start with uh, integration tests. So just create a package called integration. And we are going to follow the same pattern that we did in the Spring Boot Essentials training. Uh, just create a new class here. Let's call anime controller IT. Okay, so the integration tests, they are a little bit different. First, we need to, we can use, no, we need to use, but we can, the extend with, because we, uh, we are using the unit 5. And here, expring extension dot class, same as the unit test for anime controller and anime service. But now it's where things start getting a little bit different because we need to add this web flex test, this annotation. But this annotation will not do the scan of the packages. So for example, inside our controller, we are going to use the anime service. So we need that auto wired. And if we try to execute without importing, it will fail. So we just need to add this import and tell them that we are going to need anime service dot class. So this annotation at webflux test, it's an annotation that will create tests that will focus only on Spring Webflux uh, components. So using this annotation, it will disable the full auto configuration and instead it will apply only configuration relevant to Webflux test. So for example, add a controller, add controller advice, and so on. So by default, the when we use this at Webflux test, we need uh, to use the at import. Just remember that. And at least uh, the web test client that we are going to use will uh, be loaded for us because it's part of the, the Webflux. Okay, so let's uh, keep going. Now uh, we need a mock bin. Why we need this mock bin? Because we don't want a database running. So I will just create one for anime repository. Is the only thing that we are going to mock will be the repository, the database access. Now we need the client. So the, we are going to use web test client. If we were not using um, Webflux, this would be like REST template test. We can name this test client and let's use auto wired. And we can follow the same pattern as we were following there. Private, final, anime, anime, anime creator, dot create valid anime. Well, we can copy the information from here. So block hound. Let's copy one by one. First block hound. And we are going to copy this setup at least with one. We are going to come back to this guy later. And block hound works. Okay. So the first test that we have to do is for the find all. So we are not going to use BDD Mokito for the service anymore. Now what we are going to do is to use for the anime repository, anime repository mock, find all, then we are going to return a flux with just one anime. Now let's go to the test. Uh, we can copy the, at least the signature of this test. So list all return flux of anime when successful. The same thing, but we are not going to use the step verifier. Now we are going to use the test client. Basically we want test client dot get this is what we are executing and uh, we would like to exchange so this will uh, return to us a response spec you can go inside here and we will have some information available expect the status expect header expect body and so on so we can use here expect the status so when we execute the list all what we are trying to achieve is to get the anime and it will return that plus 
we didn't add a response status here. We can add here response status. Well, we can return OK. So this means that it returned 200. So you have a couple options. You could check is OK or is to something successful. So let's go with 200 successful. And now we are expecting the body. But we have to go beyond and there are a couple of ways of doing this. So let me show you these two ways. First one, we could get through the, the data for the expression by using the JSON path. And then we just write the, the expression here to get the position zero. Remember, this is a flex. In the end, it will be an array. And we would like the ID of the first position. And we are going to check if this is equal to anime.getID. And another one, JSON path. It's exactly the same thing. The difference is that the attribute now will be name. And this guy should be is equal to anime.getName. So let's execute this one. Okay, it failed. Uh, we got 404. Let's check if we do have our setup correct. And we have a couple options here. We could create here a web test client uh, to bind exactly to a server and we could set the URL right here, but we can do it differently and we can add here the URL that we're trying to, to access. In this case, it knows the, the server location that is trying to access. So I just need to give the context of the controller this case slash enemies. Okay, so you can see a couple of things here. First, we have this info, and I will just remove the log back test, and I will execute this guy again. Okay, so I will need to remove the, let me, do the following. Let me copy this one and then let me delete this one and execute again. So you can see that we have info, but when it's starting, we get some debugs. But the list all is just the info information. That's why we are not seeing anything. So let's uh, roll back here. And if you change this to debug, you can see that we have debug information. Okay, and uh, the second flavor, let me copy this one. The second flavor, it's this all, let me just do something really bad here. Don't do this ever, flavor two. It's how can we actually get something? Oh, I didn't know that the name could be the same. Do -do -do. No, actually, the name can be the same. Okay, so if you don't want to get the JSON all the time, there is another option. So, for example, let's just change here to is okay. This is not going to change anything, just to have a different flavor. And uh, here we will have instead of expect body, let's remove this guy. We will have expect body list. This list will be of anime, and then it has a size of one, and then it contains anime. And we can execute. And we have the same result. So two flavors for you if you want to get from the JSON or if you want to just check for contents, you have both options available for you. 
this is everything that I had to tell you in this video. See you in the next one. Bye.